after this. What the? Dude, I love the gun. I'm a gun owner myself. Oh, God. Hi, I'm a fun one. Ah! Oh, just new in the neighborhood, wanted to introduce myself. Well, ain't that neighborly of you. It's always good to know who's wandering around your turf. So what's your deal, pal? You looking for any trouble? No, never any trouble. I had a leak in my house, though. I was checking if your house was okay, too. Hello, oh, you know, uh, Ain't that a pain in the neck? Don't worry. My house is solid as a rock. Thanks for looking out, though. You know, you got to keep the neighborhood strong. So how's your leak situation? All sorted out? Not currently. I'm going to have to sleep outside, sadly. Hello, my boy. Hey! Hey, right, thank you so much. You're the best. <laughs> Sony Toprano, I get along with Sony over here, bro. Hey, let me take this. I'll, I'll <laughs> he was so nice, too. That's so fucked up. Next. Wow, you're really good at tricking people into letting you into their homes. What did, I saw someone I looked over, and so it was like, freaking Americans. Well. Ah, you know all about the Lambos, baby. I'm a hammer. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. To the moon, baby. Looks like our server isn't receiving too much. What? What the f I was doing so I'm all about those Lambos, baby! But how the hell? We're on the same wavelength. So, what's your favorite crypto project? Bitcoin and Ethereum. Those are my two favorite. They're like silver and gold. Yeah. Absolutely, bro. Bitcoin and Ethereum are like dynamic due to the crypto world. They've revolutionized the game. You totally got it. Come on in. Let's chat more about crypto market over some virtual beers. Let's go. We're in, boys! Let's go, dude! It's all about the networking. <laughs> My portfolio is bleeding, dude! Oh, man, that's funny. Bro, we've been doing this naked. I'm just like tactically stoked to see your crypto loving face in my door, bro. What brings you to a humble about this like my crypto savvy amigo? Bro, I was wondering if you know any good games. Oh, for real, bro? I'm always staying on top of the game vibes. How about I drop a little recommendations for you? We got Crypto Clash, where you battle with digital currencies and Bit Blitz, a fast paced blockchain adventure. Let me know if you're feeling it, fam. Are you gonna show me a demonstration? I wanna go mining. Yeah, I'm not really. Oh man, I feel you, but I gotta keep it real, bro. Mining. Ain't really my thing, you know? I'm more about the crypto rap game. Maybe hit me up the internet for some mining trails. Stay lit, but I gotta pass on this one, fam. You're all about crypto rapping? No, I got this. <laughs> Fuck. Let me just- Hello? Surprised at my doorstep. Did you come to perform an impromptu dance routine or something equally Segoy? Ah, uh, how sad. I got this, guys. You taught me well. Oh, uh, yeah. I just wanted to talk to you and see if you were interested in buying some mangas. I was, huh? Oh, absolutely. I'm always on <laughs> Naya, One Piece, one of my favorites. I'm looking for a new friend to read mangas with. I was, huh? Hanto, One Piece is my Ichiban favorite, too. I would love to have a new manga buddy. Let's dive into the grand adventures of the Straw Hat Pirates together, Naya. Yada, I'm so excited to have a fellow Nakama who loves One Piece as much as I do. We could cosplay as Luffy and Zoro for conventions and have epic pirate battles of our own. But before we set sail, do you promise to keep our otaku adventures a secret, Naya? I promise to keep our otaku adventures a secret. Yeah. Fucking bitch! Don't ever say that again! Arigato gozai masu. With your promise, I can fully trust you. Please come in, my fellow otaku, and let's embark on a manga and adventure. <laughs> this is you guys! This is you guys! 
Hey, you guys taught me well. He called me an otaku. Oh, I don't well, know. Oh, Christmas arrives. What brings you to my doorstep with nothing but your birthday suit? I was hanging up my Christmas lights and I broke my leg. I was, huh? Oh, dear, that doesn't sound like a jolly time. Do you need any help getting inside or should I call for some assistance? Do you happen to have some hot cocoa? Whoa. Hot cocoa, you say? Well, that just happened to be my specialty. Come on, hit my Christmas friend. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say your friends are serious, but I can teach hell I might ask, do you mind putting on some clothes before we continue our merry conversation? All my clothes were stolen by the Grinch. Uh -huh. Well, 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 that sounds like a rather unfortunate situation. However, I'm afraid I can't invite you in with a proper type. Perhaps you could seek help elsewhere. Good luck. Fuck. All right, let's go get clothes. Let's go get some clothes. <laughs> Here's my clothes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> It's time for all the festivities each year. I I am, and Santa told me to come to this house specifically to see if you were a good dude. I mean, he what? Me Santa's <laughs> oh my god! This game is great! <laughs> Regina B. Oh my gosh, look who decided to live my stroll without their clothes on. How positive scandalous, darling. But sorry, hon, the mansion is not open for unexpected visitors. Ta ta. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to bother you. My clothes were stolen by a group of birds. Man, they didn't. Oh, like seriously? You expect me to believe some ridiculous story about birds stealing your clothes? As if one let a liar with no fashion sense step foot in this fabulous mansion. Bye. Dude, I'm having so much fun. I'm just saying, I love seeing their reactions. Preston Pumps. What on earth are you doing at my doorstep half naked? I implore you to depart immediately and find some clothes. Befitting a civilized society. I agree, this society is not civilized. I was mugged down the street by a group of uncivilized individuals. Oh, oh how unfortunate for you. One must be cautious when it's rushing through less desirability. This appears you are in need of assistance. Please wait here while I fetch you a spare shirt and trousers. Thank you so much. You're such a civilized man. Mm. Your gratitude is duly noted. It is only fitting for a man of my stature to assist those in need, regardless of their fashion choices. So this is a small act of philanthropy. Ah, thank you. Your philanthropy is duly noted and appreciated. <laughs> I am pleased to see that you recognize my philanthropic efforts. Very well, I shall allow you into my boat. However, do keep in mind that proper attire is expected within these walls. <laughs> oh my god. What the? Well, I ain't got time for you half naked shenanigans. Take your antics elsewhere before the government's mind control satellite picks up your nudity and broadcasts it in my tin head. Alex Jones told me the water is making the frogs gay. Look, I don't know about frogs and their preferences, but I'll tell you one thing. The government ain't exactly spraying rainbows and sunshine to our water supply. Keep those conspiracy theories flowing, my friend. That's what I'm saying. The fluoride in the water, all this craziness, the government. Man, I'm telling you, I think they're all aliens. Uh. Whoa, hold up. I can't have you spewing that kind of talk in my vicinity. I've got enough government surveillance to deal with. With, without adding extraterrestrial beings into this. You better take your wild theories elsewhere, my friend. Good day. I, I think I went a little too conspiracy for him. He only had half a tinfoil hat on, man. I'm a oh, what are you doing? Nicola Tesla's ghost are you doing at my door in the sun? Are you from a secret government lab yeah. or an alien conspiracy? Spill the beans before free, the men bro. in black snatch you away. I've come to let you know that this is a secret government project. It is classified, and I need your help. My name is Agent M. Uh, 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 Agent M, huh? More like Agent Misinformation. I've seen this through your lives, Government Lackey. I won't be a pawn in your twisted game of secrets or cover-ups. Get lost before I expose you in the inter- <laughs> I love this guy! It's crazy because the, the crazy conspiracy guy is the smartest of everyone. That's nuts! <laughs> Uh -huh. Secret night of the long forgotten order. What brings you to my tin head sanctuary at this ungodly hour? I am searching for government records. I don't trust the government. I hate them. And I need someone with knowledge to help me learn. Oh, I'm a fan, huh? uh, fellow freedom fighter against the nefarious government. I do have delved into the deepest archives in search of hidden troops. What specific records are you after, my armored alley? Are they actually reptiles? Uh... Reptiles, you say? Well, there are theories that suggest certain individuals in position of power might not be entirely human. Whether they are actual reptiles or not, there's a whole other rabbit hole to explore. Lead you to believe they're reptilians considering. I don't have enough 
information to believe if it's true, but I was wondering if you could help guide me with some information and learn together. Oh, yeah, fine, Absolutely, well. fellow seeker of truth. Now, together, we shall dive into the depths of conspiracy and uncover the hidden secrets. Tell me, are you familiar with the Illuminati and their connections to our li lizard overlords? I absolutely am familiar with the Illuminati and that crazy triangle that's trying to take over the world with these global elites. <laughs> Bravo! You've done your research, my enlightened companion. Your understanding of the Illuminati and their agenda is impressive. I believe it's time we we meet face to face and share our findings. Come, join me in the Tinhead Sanctuary and let the truth unfold before our eyes. <laughs> Holy shit. Hello. Oh my Hello. god! Hello. Look who decided Hello. to grace us with their presents. How absolutely thrilling. But sorry, honey, this isn't a strip club. So you're gonna have to take your little wings and fly away. Bye, Felicia. Wait! I just wanted to hear your thoughts on my costume because your outfit is amazing and I love your style. I'm right. Um, I don't have time to entertain random people who show up half naked at my doorstep. My outfit is clearly amazing, so I don't need your validation. Goodbye. Oh, yeah? Okay. This is war now. <laughs> oh my gosh, did someone receive this house for an art gallery? This is too tragic. Like, bye. But seriously, you need to leave. Pronto. Hello, Michelle. Je m'appelle Vampire. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then that Halloween clearance section was your mom as well. Oh, hello, my mom. <laughs> she was just pissing me off. I had to. I had to. Hello. Who in tarnation are you? What's the meaning of knocking on my door in this island of Gali hour looking like you just escaped from a nudist colony? Bro, I'm here to drink beer, fire guns, and have some free speech, baby. Hello. <laughs> Oh my god! It wasn't getting coded enough for him, bro! Hey, I'm I'm going I'm on. On. Why does Sam Elliott showing up at my door looking like a plump fool? Get your clothes on and scram. It's me! I'm an elf and I'm here to deliver you the First Amendment! Hey. <laughs> oh man, this game is just. I'm just so stupid. I love it. Wow, I want Gosh, are you new to the neighborhood? Your fashion choices are like totally unique. Welcome to the fab world of my doorstep. I am. I'm new to the neighborhood and your house is beautiful and so are you. It's nice to meet you. I was, huh? Oh, thanks. I try to keep up with the latest trends. So tell me, what brings you to our prestigious neighborhood? I just made a lot of money and decided to buy a place here. It's so safe and friendly. And so are you. Thank you so much for talking with me. Oh, money can definitely buy you a good reputation around here. You're not too bad yourself, I guess. So what kind of parties do you throw in that fabulous new house of yours? I throw one every weekend. Would you like to come to the next event I hold? Oh, well, have ho. Um, excuse me? Do you really think an invitation to a little party is going to impress me? Please, I only attend the most exclusive and glamorous event. I got an idea. Hey, hey, oh, hey, what hey, do we have here? A shirtless steampunk with a top hat. How quaint. Did you miss the memo that pants are required for social issues? But I must admit, your audacity has me positively getting you excited. So what's the elaborate reason this expense? My name is Charles Eldrith the Fourth, and I'm lost. Have you ever gone? Lost, huh? Well, Charles Eldrith the Fourth, it seems like you've stumbled upon the wrong neighborhood. Tier but you have to have a three, snack to give me directions. So you know where you're heading to before you ended up in our oh so charming neck of the woods. Well, my Lamborghini broke down down the block, so I was just looking for the nearest gas station. If you could point me in the correct direction, m'lady. Lamborghini, huh? Well, it's no surprise that you need some expensive fuel for such a fancy ride. Luck with you, I happen to have a sense of direction. As flawless as my fast journey. Head two blocks down the street, take a left, and you'll find a gas station on the right. Just be sure to get that eyesore of a car fixed ASAP. Before I head on my way, would you happen to fancy some tea with me? I'm in the hole. Tea? Please, Charles Eldridge IV. Do you really think we have anything in common? I mean, you're just a lost inventor, and I'm, well, me. But I suppose I could humor you for a few minutes. However, I must warn you, I take my tea with a side of scathing sarcasm. So if you can handle that, the answer is begrudgingly yes. I sure could handle it, m'lady. Uh, well, well, well. Uh, Looks like you're not completely hopeless after all, Charles Eldred the Fourth. Maybe you have a silver, a sliver of potential. I'll fetch the tea and you can try your best to keep up with my scintillating wit. But don't get too comfortable. This doesn't mean we're friends or anything. It's merely a momentary lapse in judgment. A momentary lapse in judgment? By all means. A penny saved is a penny earned. A stitch in time saves nine. These are my famous sayings. Kebab! Well, Charles Edward, those sayings are something. I must admit, they're quite amusing in their own peculiar way. 
It seems you possess a unique charm hidden beneath that inventor f f facade. Perhaps there's more to you than meets the eye. Tea might turn out to be more entertaining than I anticipated. Let's proceed, but don't let it get to your head, all right? After you, milady. <laughs> Why, thank you, Charles Elder the Fort. Such chivalry is rare sight these days. I suppose I can reward your impeccable manners with a cup of tea, but remember, this doesn't make us equals. Now follow me to the tea room and mind your step. We wouldn't want you to trip and ruin that precious top hat of yours. It's <laughs> Charles Eldred the Fourth, huh? Survivor.